Welcome back to the second video of the month and today we have some more Shining Fates including the Pikachu box. So before we open these we will check what's in here. Now last week we managed to get four Shiny Pokemon including the Shiny VMAX Rillaboom. Now I would love to get something on that scale if not better but out of these seven packs to get a couple of Shinies no matter how rare they are would be amazing. So we'll open this first then. Now the first card we have is now the first card we have is the Pikachu which does look very very similar to the one we got out of the tin last week but we'll have to check if that is the same one we also have a code card to give away to everyone at the end we have the big jumbo version of him out of the jumbo cards I've got so far that's probably my favourite one I really like the look of that one we have the four packs in there two shiny charizards one dragapult and one of the corvanites if i was to pull any of those as shinies i would be over the moon the other three packs we had include another corva squire a corvanite um a charizard and a toxicity him so we're going to start off with a charizard because you gotta start somewhere Still not sure if I think it's a good or bad thing, but the Shining Fates give you all white cards. Now I guess it keeps the mystery there, that even if you do see that by accident, because a lot of people didn't like to see them cards before, so it's always a mystery at the end, it gives you the mystery still. So I used to always, um, so we've got three to the front, get rid of the energy card. I used to always look at the white, see if it was going to be rare or not. So. It gives me that element of mystery that I wasn't used to. So we start with the rusted sword. We've got the ball guy, which though Gen 8, I did like it. It was fun to play. The ball guy, for some reason, just always made me laugh. So that's a good little throwback to the games. We have uh, Katnia. We have more Pekka as a hollow. I did get a couple of them in the last video and I do really like that card just being a bit mystery, um, mischievous and for the oh VMAX Crobat not shiny but um, I love Crobat and that is really nice artwork so oh it's a um, Dynamax version as well Brill um, yeah he can go up there he, it's got a bit of a raised Car, um, raised feel to it, but no, that's a great way to start it. Not a shiny, but I'd definitely, definitely take that. Next of all, we will do a Dragapult. A Pokemon that seems, a lot of people seem to love. I always find he was a little bit of a weird design. Not, not a bad one, not a poor one. Just a, a weird design, how he just shoots his younglings out. But, um, yeah. Having another um, water energy, hopefully that's an omen to get another rare card at the end. Okay, I've had a, quite a few of the rusted swords, but I don't think I've had the rusted shield yet, so I do like the look of that one. We've got Grookey, we have Yanma, Trappint and Shinx. We've got Yanma again as the hollow, and for the, yes! So, so, it's hollow as well and a ditto it's not shiny but one card i was absolutely begging for and i mean begging was a ditto in my i want to get the first well i want to get one of every gen and one of every pokemon but being gen one and two boy watching it when it first came about ditto was one of the cards i have not got yet i know you can buy them but pulling them is just it's, it's a different feeling than just going out and bought, buying them everything but yeah so to get a ditto is absolutely amazing the fact that he's like a hollow and a v card just makes it all that better um great two pulls already crowbat great pokemon great card i will take nothing from that but if them two are the best two we get ditto will be the best pull of the day by far purely for the fact that i haven't got one yet um so brilliant a Dynamax and a, Vit a Dynamax and a Ditto. 
One, two, three. I'm hoping this is a water fire. It was the only reason, like I said, I'm hoping it was a water test because we've had some absolutely great luck from the first two packs. Tropius, another Pokemon that does seem to be very popular, very common pull at the moment. It's more pepper. Oh no, it's a different more pepper one, sorry. This one has Shuckle and Pipek in, so that's nice. We have Coffin, Frostmoth as the Hollow, very nice looking card. And Decidueye as the rare Hollow card. So that won't go at the back, even though it's a Hollow, nothing special about it. We are yet to pull a Shiny out the first three packs, but hey, straight in with a, another one. Yes, I would love the Shiny cards, but if we keep getting V Maxes and cards like that, you can't complain. Steel. Go straight in with a float saw, a Luxio, rusted sword, Shinx, coffin. He looks a bit cheeky there. Getting up a little bit of gas in the background, maybe a little toot. Got a horsey, Grookey, more Pepo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. shiny V card, get in, double. Um, oh, I've never seen a shiny one of them. Which for me, they talk about like black sheep, black sheep of the family, kind of reference that maybe. Maybe that's why they've gone for the the black. It's a shiny on the double, but um, okay, another hollow at the end. Thievul, that's the rare. So. Double can join the other two up there. That is another great pull. So I am ecstatic with that. Shaping up to be a good video already, this is. We'll go for the Charizard. Grass Energy. We have the Tropius again. We have Luxio. The gym trainer card, horsey. Um, bit off topic, but my one of my friends does. Uh, he collects Pokemon cards. Doesn't stream, but occasionally he'll video call me and show me some of the Pokemon he get. And he got some really, really cool ones the other day, um, full arts and stuff. So it's nice to see people I know opening it, enjoying it. So I, I just love everything to do with the, the Pokemon cards. It's just really fun. Oh, Manaphy, nice as a hollow. Quite a rare Pokemon. And another Decidueye. So we're down to our last two ones now. Got the electric energy. And we have the Team Eyal Tau. Luxio again. Floatzel. Today, by the way, because he's going to be posted a couple of days later. Today is the Fletchling Community Day, so you can get the shiny Fletchling. Um, I've managed to get all three so far, which has been really fun. So you can get all three shinies of the evolutions, because I do love me Pokemon Go. Tropius as a Hollow, very nice, and the rare we have Professor's Research. We can only hope the last pack does us well. And then after the last pack, as always, we will go over the code cards, let the people who collect them have them, and choose our favourite card of the day. Which I think you can all probably guess who mine is so far, but we have had some really nice pulls. Like fighting. The gym trainer. Floatzel. Team Yell Tau. Trap Inch. Um, I'm not going to be in a rush to get some of these Shining Fates again, purely for the fact that they are oh, getting another Shiny Pokemon, Carco. Um, they're, they're, they're selling for a bit more than more cards, and though I enjoy doing this, it can be an expensive game, and I've got other cards coming later in the month anyway, so... And we're finishing on another Ditto! <laughs> Gone from having zero of them to two of them. So he can go up there. And so can he. Yeah. Johnny Boy can join the rest of them. Get in the big boy league. So we'll take a close up look at the best pulls of the day. Shiny, uh, 
So starting with the last one, which is the Shining Coco. We have Ditto. We have Double, which is an amazing pull. I'll, yeah, that's, that's great artwork as well. We have Ditto again. And we have the Dynamax Crowbat. So any other time, I would absolutely pick any of them two because obviously Shining V card, we have a Dynamax Crowbat. But never ever pulling a ditto then pulling two it's got to be him or just the double triple so seven of these will be from the packs we've opened and the one will be from the uh, big pikachu shining facts box i don't know what order they're in so at the moment it does look all the shining fates are there There we go, the big one, and a shining fate. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. If you have liked the video, um, I do say it quite a bit, but like and subscribe, or if you know people that are into this kind of stuff, word of mouth is always great. But more than anything, have a great day.